Hello, Damon Mercia Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the digital format of optical discs, ISO images. I'm going to show you how you can access these natively using Windows 10, 11 and newer server versions to access the data on the disc digitally. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can actually overcome the limitation of 26 drive letters. Let's uh, jump into a Windows 11 machine and take a look. So, as you can see here on the Windows 11, I've got a file called images.iso. If I double click this, this will open up with the application I've got installed, ISO Buster. And again, I can view the content, but with Windows 11, you do not need any third party application. So what we need to do, first of all, is change this. And the simple way to do this is to right click, open with, and choose another application. And if we tick the always open and select Windows Explorer, and say okay, we can see two things. If we go to this PC, it's actually created a virtual drive letter or DVD drive with the disk and it's assigned it to drive E. And also the icon here on the desktop has changed, which now enables us to actually right click and we can mount the disk. And equally back here, we can now eject the disk. So if I just double click now, you can see we actually get this assigned as drive E, which is great, but obviously we're limited to 26 drive letters. So what if we wanted to mount say 100 disks? Well, what you can actually do is right click on the start menu. You can go to disk management. And if we browse down, we'll find the virtual drive and simple click on here. Again, right click, change drive letter and paths. And here we can actually add a path. So in this case, if I can create a folder, say new folder under here, and we'll call this images. And we'll say OK, OK. And if I browse to C drive now, to my jukebox folder, you can see I've got a little icon that indicates it's a junction. And if I click through to there, we can see that we've actually got the data. And equally, I can come back here onto the disk management and I can remove the drive letter. And you can see under here, I've still got the disk images. And again, I can access all of the data contained under there. And again, if I go back to this PC, you can see the actual virtual drive letter is gone. So as you can see, we can actually make lots of disks, but this is very time consuming. So what I've done is actually wrote a little PowerShell script to do this for me. So if I come into here, I've got a folder called ISO images. And you can see here, I've got four files or four ISO images. And I'll just open up in a new window my jukebox folder. I'm going to delete this. Yes, so I've got an empty folder I've called jukebox. Okay, let me launch PowerShell ISE. So if we just do a quick search on here for PowerShell ISE. I'm going to run this as an administrator. And let me open up a couple of scripts I've created. Okay, so what this script basically does is look in CISO images and looks for any file called .iso. And if I don't run this, it's going to fail. And that's because by default, running scripts is disabled. So see how I've got commented, we need to set the policy to unrestricted. This is going to bring up a warning, which I'm going to say yes. And so now, when I run this script, you can see this has gone through, and it's uh, identified the four images. And you can see under here, we've actually created four folders, under which we have all of the data of the disks. Obviously, from here, I could quite simply share this folder if I wanted to. Click share, jukebox, and we say OK, and apply. As you can see, the disks are now accessible over a network. So this would enable you to actually share all of these disks out. So let me first of all go back
let's uh, unmount this and clean up. So this is actually deleted all the directories and unmounted all of the disks. What I'm going to do is in the ISO images folder here, I'm just going to launch command prompt and I'm going to run this to basically with a for loop to create 100 copies of images.iso and call it one and so on. Let's run this a second. Just close this now. So you can see now in my images folder, I've now got 104 ISO images. And I'm going to come back to here and I run my main command. You can see it takes a few seconds to run through. If we come back to the jukebox folder and just refresh, because we've got 81 items, 90, 104. Now, interestingly, if we do our properties here, we see it's zero bytes because this is all just junctions or links to the actual mounted image. If we access it over the network, and I'll do a properties on all of the uh, you can see here we've got 104 folders and 500 megs this is quite a small ISO image and again let's go back and uh, clean up so obviously this is only read only if you wanted to do read write I'll leave a link here to an optical jukebox which is a mechanical jukebox they can do the same thing with some software but actually enable you to write two physical disks and again they can be then shared out virtually or mechanically it can go and load the disk down below in the description i'll also leave a link to our github to where you can download these scripts and again if you are a more advanced in powershell than me do feedback and we can look to maybe improve the scripts um, for other people's use thank you very much